Alrighty, just retreaded the steer tire casing. Very nice. Time to put it back on the steer axle. What, what are you doing? What? Did you just double dip that tire and put it back on the steer axle? Excuse me? You double dipped that tire. Double dipped? What are you talking about? You used the steer tire, you retreaded that steer tire, and then you put it back on the steer axle? So? That's a safety hazard. From now on, when you spec a tire, just use the tire on the steer axle once and end it. Well, I'm sorry, Timmy, but that's not always true. You retread the way you want to retread, I'll retread the way I want to retread. Give me that tire. No! Let's say you retread a pair of new premium steer tire casings. Where on the truck do they go next? The most common answer is probably the drive position. But what if you equip them back onto the steer position? Well, some might say this is a safety issue, and that isn't always untrue. But for the most part, it's a misconception that retreading steer tire casings back to the steer axle is unsafe, and fleets that do this aren't as uncommon as you might think. The Department of Transportation does prohibit the use of retreads in the steer position on buses, but in some operations, you might find specking retreads on the steer axle can give you the most bang for your buck. You'll find that the fleets that see the most benefit in doing so are generally those that operate at lower speeds. Think local fleets like large city refuse fleets, city delivery vehicles of various sizes, and any equipment used in street maintenance. These fleets operate at lower speeds and are often used in stop and go operations in inner city environments. Over the highway, long haul operations will probably still want to run new tires on the steer axle. This is the norm in the industry and definitely contributes to a driver's peace of mind. The tried and true method of using new tires on the steer position, moving them back to the drive position for the first retread and finally to the trailer position for the next retread works well for long haul fleets due to application. See, drive axles tend to be in a more demanding environment due to the torque of the drivetrain. So less aged casings or first time retreaded tires are preferred for this demanding position. Trailer tires, which are not subject to torque, are a better position for a second cap casing, and these retreads tend to have a shallower tread applied. This tread is specifically designed to reduce the free rolling wear often seen in trailer tires. Every fleet handles casing progression differently. There are even fleets out there that will retread a drive tire back into the drive position. So don't take this video as a retreading Bible of any sort. I just want to open your eyes to the possibilities. Tires are expensive and small changes can affect your bottom line in big ways. So if you're thinking of switching up your tire program, don't do it alone. Seek out a trusted tire dealer and work together to reap the benefits of a custom, comprehensive tire program for your fleet. For more trucking equipment content, head over to fleetequipmentmag.com. Thanks for watching.